Praise God, praise God, praise God, family. Dr. Basemore here, Sunday, July 24th. You know that it is a few minutes before our praise and worship service. I take a few minutes and I just want to provide an introduction as it relates to the prophetic word, the prophetic message, the encouragement, the inspiration, the motivation that we're going to receive. I want you to know that we appreciate each and every one of you who has subscribed to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please prayerfully consider subscribing. We appreciate you sharing the messages just to encourage others. We thank you for your comments, your prayer requests. Just thank you so much for supporting our ministry. Also, it's important that you go to our description boxes underneath the videos. You'll find uh, there's a free download of uh, prophetic messages there for you. There's also more information about the ministry. So again, we just love you in the Lord. We thank God for you. We're going to be in the book of Jeremiah, uh, the ninth chapter, verses 23 and 24. This is what the Lord says. Let not the wise boast of their wisdom or the strong boast of their strength or the rich boast of their riches. But let the one who boasts, boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. For in these I delight, declares the Lord. God bless you. God bless you and God bless you. Praise God, family. I'm back. In the introduction, I read Jeremiah 9 verses 23 and 24. We know the prophet Jeremiah as the weeping prophet, and he gave a word from the Lord. This is what the Lord says. And he started using uh, the term boast quite often throughout the word that he uh, released. And we know that to boast is to uh, talk of a, with excessive pride about one's achievements, one's uh, abilities, one's uh, possessions. And uh, the word from the Lord is reminding us uh, that we ought to be giving God the glory. That anything that we have that is good, anything that we have accomplished that is good, anything that we possess that is good, any abilities or skills that we have that are good, our spiritual gifts, whatever it is, uh, God gets the glory. And uh, the Lord says that if anyone's going to boast, what they need to be boasting about is this that they have the understanding to know me, says the Lord, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness and justice and righteousness on earth. For in these I delight, declares the Lord. And I believe that once we really start knowing the Lord God for ourselves, not just knowing about him, but getting to know him, he says, have the understanding to know me. Then as we're praying these prayers for righteousness on earth, justice on earth, kindness on earth, the prayers that we, are, that we have, as we're praying in agreement with and according to God's good and perfect divine sovereign will, according to his word, we know then that we're praying for the things that he himself delights in. Uh, he gives us the desires of our heart. He gives us the delight. And when we delight in the things of the Lord, uh, we begin to experience him more. He wants us to have an understanding to know him that the things that we're praying for and praying about in these, in these times that we're in, these times that we are in where people are, are many people are suffering and uh, many people are confused and many people feel lost and people are, are going through so much at this time. As we get to know the Lord God, to know him, not again, not just know about him, but to know him, we will know that he wants as much as we want justice that he's the only just God, he's a just God. That as much as we are praying for righteousness on earth, he's our righteous God. As much as we're praying for kindness, he's kind and he's good, he's loving, he's great. Uh, all, of the, all of the high prayers that we have, uh, God is love. And so as we get to know him through his word, through Holy Spirit giving us revelation, as we get to know him by spending time with him, quiet time, making sure that we have time for God throughout the day, that we have real time for him, where we just sit in his presence and we allow the Lord to speak to us, to minister to us, to comfort us, to encourage us, and to give us the revelation that we need. Uh, we ought to be praying for more of his divine knowledge and understanding and wisdom, more of an understanding of him. Who are you, God? 
Who are you? Uh, reveal to me, speak to me. Uh, as we come before him, as humbly as we know how, and not boasting of our own wisdom, not boasting of our own strength, not boasting of our own, of, of, of our riches, but knowing that he's the true God. And if we are blessed in any way, and we are, that we know that we are blessed because God himself has blessed us to be a blessing. And so this is what the Lord says, let not the wise boast of their wisdom or the strong boast of their strength or the rich boast of their riches, but let the one who boasts boast about this that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord, who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth, for in these I delight, declares the Lord. He's already exercising kindness and justice and righteousness, and when we know him, we know that that is what he is doing. When we know him to be love, we know that there is more love than there is fear. We know that love is stronger than fear, that good is stronger than evil, that positive is stronger than negative. When we get to know God, we know that it will end just exactly as he has revealed to us that it will end, that it is ending in the way that God already knew from the beginning. We are blessed to be children of God. We are blessed to be in his kingdom. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ for his finished works on his cross at Calvary. Because of him, we are saved, set free, healed, and delivered. We are redeemed. And so let us honor and glorify our God. Allow him to use us as his instruments of love and of help and of healing. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. May you continue to hear from the Lord. Until I see you again, until I have another word from the Lord for you, God bless you.